Right, I want to show you how to set about making an accessory. Um, I've just kind of loaded in a picture of, I think it's a Ghostbusters proton pack. We're not going to build it something exactly like this, but something with blocks and interesting shapes on it uh, will be the order of the day. So I'm going to get rid of that so we're not overly concerned with how it looks. It's just some inspiration. So let's hide that. We'll add a cube. Add a mesh cube. And we'll scale it. So we're going to scale Y make it longer because it's got to set on your back and scale Z to make it thinner. Um, I'm going to press tab to tab into ed edit mode. Let's just subdivide it uh, twice. I'll do. Now I want to um, select some faces on it like we did making the table if you remember. And extrude Z Let's extrude some of those as well. Extrude Z. So we've got some interesting shapes going on. I'm going to turn on um, ambient occlusion. So this just makes it look a little bit more 3D while we're working on it. Uh, now that face, I'm going to scale down. S for scale. Uh, I'm going to scale this one, but I'm just going to scale it uh, in one direction. So I'm going to do S, Y. So we've got like an interesting shape thing there. Um, let's extrude that up again. Extrude Z. Um, that's good. Now we've got a whole bunch of loops here, which I don't really want. A loop is is like a, like a ring that goes all the way around something. Um, I'm just going to get rid of those by selecting the whole ring, which I did Control Shift and right click. I want to get rid of that one and that one all at the same time and do control X just to, just to clear up the geometry on it. That's good. Uh, now I'm going to add like a canister or something to it. So I'm going to add mesh uh, cylinder. Um, I'm going to make the ends triangle fans. It doesn't really matter but for now it's, it's, it's fine. I'm going to rotate that on the Y axis. So rotate Y 90 and then put scale it down and I want to make it wider so I'm going to scale X just playing and making it up a bit really um, what else do we want let's have some more kind of canister things but the other way around add mesh uh, cylinder let's scale that down um, let's duplicate it shift D enter Duplicate it again, Shift D, Enter, drag it along. But this one I'm going to rotate. Rotate X90. Scale it down a bit, make it a bit taller. Scale uh, Y. There we are. Um, these are things which um, in video games, in spaceship design especially, they're called greebles. But we're just going to make some manually. So, oh. What I did there was I used uh, Control R to make a loop cut, which is like a ring around it. Then I scrolled my mouse wheel a few times just to subdivide the surface and then left click to accept it. And I'm going to grab that one and that one and that one and that one and just extrude Z. Just so we've got some interesting stuff on it. And just keep going crazy. We could add a. Let's duplicate that. Shift duplicate that. Rotate Y ninety. Uh, drag it over here. Uh, scale it down. Scale it down a bit more. Just drag it with the arrow keys. So it's like a sticky out thing. Let's shift duplicate. Enter it. Shift duplicate. Enter. And it's just adding some futuristic stuff like you would have in any any good proton pack. Um, let's add, it, add some materials to it. So I'm making, added a new material, made it grey and turned them to specular. Let's add a new material for that one. Let's make it kind of yellow, but a darkish kind of yellow. That's good. And we can just keep adding in materials to make it more and more interesting. And when you've got the whole thing together and you're happy with it, 
if you do select all, just select all the parts of engine control J. And we've got a big joint together object for a proton pack. Obviously, spend a bit more time in it than I have, but have a play with the shapes. Add, um, we've got all these different kind of things we can add in. Add mesh. Um, we could even add a monkey if we wanted. Rotate X90. Oh, rotate X180. There we go. Scale that down. Stick the face in there. There we go. That's, that's looking good. Um, you can try rendering it. Yay. Great. Thank you for watching.